वेलकम बैक एवरी वन टूडे इन दिस वीडियो आई बी टेकिंग यू थ्रू द टेबल क्रिएशन डेटा इंसर्शन एंड डिस्प्लेइंग ऑफ द टेबल इन ए पिक्स ऑरिकल विद टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स ऑन हाउ यू कैन एफिशियंटली यूज दिस प्लेटफॉर्म सो दीज थ्री आर द मेजर टॉपिक डेट आई बी डिस्कसिंग इन दिस वीडियो एंड दिस इज द टेबल डेट यू कैन सी जस्ट राइट हेयर विच आल बी क्रिएटिंग फॉर यू ऑल टू सी हाउ यू कैन डू इट फॉर योर सेल्फ so as discussed in my earlier video i have shown you how you can create your own workspace if you don't have one how you can request the apex oracle to do so so if you have not done if you don't have a workspace for yourself then you please go through the video now moving on forward i'll just take you through the process of table creation insertion and then viewing let's get started as you can see this is my dashboard you need to enter your password and workspace and all and then you have to be your dashboard will appear then you have to go to sql workshop then you have to go to sql commands and then here the magical thing happens so this is what i used to say each and every time so this is the place wherein will i used to create it so first of all i would like to show that if you want to create a table so this is the syntax for creating a table you have to write create table followed by table name then parenthesis and inside the parenthesis you have to mention the column name and after the column name you need to mention the data type with the limit of letters for each value this means suppose i am um, uh, the very first thing that you can see is student name so student name is here so you can limit the word that the student name can be limited to 15 characters or 20 characters including the space so you can mention it over here right and then followed by how many columns you want to create with its data type and the limit and then you have to close the parentheses and then you have to put a semicolon and it's created and a uh, one more thing that you can um, keep a look at is you don't have to write this in capital letters you can also write it in small letters so it is not case sensitive or something like that so let me show you how you can do it i'll do create table and my table name would be student and then there is parentheses and then the very first thing is student name what is its data type data type is where care and a limit a its character limit to 15 and the second one is gender and it is also where care and it will be limited to only one character m or f or t or whatever it is and after gender i have to write the age section and it has to be number and i'll put it two characters because majority of us are know that it is limited to um, two characters only so now what i'll do yeah you don't have to give a semicolon over here you have to write commas over here i'm really sorry for this and after the braces you have to put a semicolon now what i can do is i can just run this program from the top right corner you can see there is a run button present over here or if you have written multiple statements and you want to execute any one of them then you can select that part of statement and then you can run it so i have written only one statement so i'll just run it so when i'll click on run then you can see over here the result section the table is created so congratulations you have created the table and the very uh, most important thing is while writing any code or anything as such you need to know that how you can do comments and also that you your code can be a bit legit and easy to understand and for writing comments you have to give to minus sign and you can write your comments so it would be creating table okay now what i'll do i'll insert elements i'll insert elements in table so let's see the syntax for inserting element so if you want to insert element into the table then you have to use insert into followed by the table name then you have to write a values then you have to open the braces then you have to give the values accordingly and then you have to close the braces and then you have to put a semicolon and do remember one thing that if you are writing string or a character then you need to put it in quotes and if you are putting numbers and all then you don't have to put quotes yeah and one more thing if any one of the column accepts date as the data type then also you need to put quotes okay let me show you how you can do it i'll write insert into 
followed by table name so this is my table name and then i'll put values then brackets and then i'll write the first thing so first thing is student name the very first student that we have is ram with gender m and age 15 so i'll put it in quotes ram comma m comma 15 and then i'll close it with a semicolon so now if i want to insert it i'll have to run this right but as i said there are more than one statement present over here and obviously once this student is created so again we can't create the same table with the same name so basically what i want to say is i just want to run this statement and not that this one so what i will do i will just select it and then i will run it now when i'll run it then i'll see that one row is inserted similarly i can insert more two rows into it according to the table so in this manner you can insert elements in a row accordingly so uh, your parameters may vary from mine because it is just an example that i took now maybe moving on further what we are gonna see is we will view or display the table so there is a command for that let's see the syntax of it select star from table name how it works let me show you i'll just write select star from and the table name is student so the table which we created we are gonna see what all elements are present there right now if you closely view then this is the same table that i was referring to in my uh, file see this is the same table that i uh, told you that i'll be creating and here you can see the table and not only this if suppose you don't want to see all the details that are present here that student name gender or age suppose i don't want to see the gender i just want to see the student name and age then what i can do that i will write select followed by column names so what are the column names that is student name comma age then i'll have to write from student and then close with semicolon and then i'll run this statement so i'll run it and then here you can see that i got the table with name and their age only so accordingly you can um, have fun with it you can explore how you can use this select statement and uh, for more info i think you should visit the docs of oracle so this was from my side in this chapter i'll be making some more of it so please stay tuned for that thanks for watching see you in the next one